This is my case. <laughs> How great! Jelly! Mm, hello! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, ich glaube, ich weiß nicht. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chevy nail saloon. Ooh, it's something new. Today we're gonna try something which I'm actually a little bit afraid of. <laughs> Literally since the beginning I wanted to try to give myself acrylic nails on this channel but I was always like this is a territory which I do not want to enter because this is just so out of my comfort zone i am so not talented when it comes to nails i have mad respect for nail techs and nail artists because it's just a whole lot of work and it's just so detailed and so small but i recently found out about this method about poly gel and i i never even knew about this and it's so weird because i've had acrylics for like two years I stopped having acrylic nails because I just went to a salon which was not that good. <laughs> and then <laughs> I accidentally ripped my thumbnail off and that was kind of like the ending of that era of me having acrylic. So my nails are a bit difficult. <laughs> they are very very tiny and very thin and uh, I gotta admit I am someone who basically ripped her nails off all of her life. I always rip my nails off if I'm just like a little bit stressed and well you can imagine that happens a lot of times and uh, yeah that's like a really bad habit of mine. And I finally managed to let them grow a little bit longer than usual. Yeah I still have like really really thin nails which are easily to break and uh, I know that my nails are not the best base for having acrylics or gel nails in general because they're so tiny. <laughs> my thumbs are a whole different story. <laughs> Ooh, that is so exposing. My nails always made me so insecure and now I'm talking about them on YouTube. I hate it. Anyway, my thumbnails are still, <laughs> you know, my stress life. <laughs> An outlet for my stress, so my thumbnails still look like shit. We don't want to talk about them. Yay! I want to try poly gel nails today because I feel like they may be a little bit easier than doing acrylic. Of course, I'm not going to do it the normal way. I'm going to do it the broccoli kind of way. So I order a cheap poly gel nail kit from Wish to try it out today. <laughs> Let's get this Chevy nail saloon started. Chilly, this is my place to be. Hello! Cats can never decide if they want to stay inside or outside. Look at this professional nail saloon. We have a base coat, we have a top coat, we have four different kinds of poly gel in different colors. We have a white, pink, soft pink and clear. We also have a slip solution which is basically like alcohol which you need for the application of the poly gel. Then of course a little spatula and a brush. I also brought my own nail file just in case I don't like this one. We have a bedazzle brush. I love it so much. <laughs> she looks like me today. <laughs> and of course this little UV light which you can just you know do this and then like that. It also came with these. Ew, is there black hair in there? There is freaking black hair. That is so gross. Yeah, not gonna use these. <laughs> Bye. I bought these ones. These are also just like little fake nails, I would say. Look, they look like this. And they basically already have the shape I want my nails to be in. So I hope that will just save me some time. And I also bought this electric file, but I actually never used an electric file. So I also have mad respect for these. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the right size for every nail. I heard it's best if you pick like a little bit of a bigger size of these. Of course, you're supposed to prep your nails before you do that otherwise uh, it won't stick to your nails obviously yesterday i already pushed my cuticles back and uh, i basically just you know clean my nails and now we basically just need to file the nail so the grease will disappear <laughs> i hated getting my nails done because as my nails are so thin and just not great <laughs> for getting acrylic the nail tags they were always like Ooh. 
I could, I could feel how they didn't want to do my nails. <laughs> and then they filed my nails and always too much. And then they were way too thin. And then basically there was no nail left. They applied the acrylics on my skin. Pretty. We're just going to clean it with some alcohol. So now I'm just going to apply a base coat. This is going to make everything stick. So if you forget that base coat, you stupid piece of shite. I'm going to use my amazing UV light. Then I'm going to use my amazing UV light, which you can't really see because um, the cable is too short. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it down there for about uh, one and a half minutes. Oh, it burns. Oh, I forgot that it burns now it's all coming back to me maybe i'm just gonna go for the soft pink to make it like natural and then uh, if i don't like it i can just go over it with some nail polish i love that the uv light actually stops after like one and a half minutes maybe that's so great i'm gonna start with my pinky wait that's not my pinky this is my soft pink and all we do now is we squeeze it into this form and just try to distribute it like very gradually a little bit thicker in the middle and then a little bit thinner on the outside <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to do this not at all but this is the plan that in here oh she is a sticky bitch Ew, that's actually such a ugly pink <laughs> maybe i should have swatched it before i put it on here all right let's um do that again let's put the soft pink away because it's really ugly let's use the pink instead because it's prettier so now we use our brush which we dip into the alcohol solution and now we just spread this oh jesus christ oh cat hair it already takes for ever to get it flat <laughs> oh no i dabbed it oh no i dabbed it in with my finger just gonna press it onto this finger wow you can already see there's like a hole there let's just put it under the uv light just for fun ow and now you're supposed to just supposed to pop it off <gasps> oh my god look at it oh that's so gonna break <laughs> That is so thin. I think that's okay. Do that again. Wow, it already looks horrible here. And my hands are so sticky. How do people do this without getting the hands super sticky? But this is my first nail. Oh, it is crooked. What the fuck? <sighs> All right, let's do this finger now. I love you. Ah! Air bubbles. Oh, there's air bubbles. <sighs> But it is not as bad as the burning when I got my acrylics done. What? Wow. Yeah, it's a little thin on the outside. Maybe I gotta apply some more there. Maybe I am a born nail artist and I just didn't know. Ah! The fuck not? Let's try it on my thumb, my non existent thumb. How do I avoid air bubbles? Ugh, I'm scared. I'm curing, I'm just doing it right there. You can't see. <sighs> okay, this one is interesting. So here's my thumbnail. What is this? It's just, um, got a little thick. I don't know what this blob is, but I'm just gonna file it down later. Again, I think it got a little bit thin around here so i'm a bit scared it'll break quickly should i apply more i'm just wondering what are your guys's experience with acrylics or gel nails poly gel in general do you get them done did you get them done before i kind of want to know you guys stories have you had like horror experiences before we're still doing good let's carry on time for my ring finger pat 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 let's try not to do a huge blob maybe that's like the schnoodle dude of nails no, I pressed it too hard and now it's like super thin. You can see my nail there. I'm still gonna cure it. I'm just gonna apply a second coat afterwards. Sorry, I just got myself a sweet potato. Hold on, I just noticed something. <laughs> I forgot to take the nail off, off of my thumb. Did I take it off the other ones? <gasps> 
like I didn't even take it. I'm so stupid. I even applied more poly gel on my thumb, but I forgot to take the shape off. I'm so stupid. Oh, I can't. This is the result. Actually, I just love this shape. It makes me so horny. I don't know why, but it's just so cute. Now I need to apply some more right here because, well, obviously I wanted to even it out, but I applied it on this, so uh, now we need to do it again. Yay! All right, let's take it off with this finger. Yay! Okay, this is way too thin. Can you see my white nail underneath? I'm gonna pat, pat, pat on my dirty ass paper towel. Yeah, this finger looks really sad now. Ew, look what it looks like from here. Okay, so these are my nails now. I fucked this one up again because you can see through it because I pressed too hard. This is like when you put it on, I put too much pressure on and this happened to me twice now, so I gotta be more careful. And now it's time for my file and I'm, I'm really a bit scared <laughs> so I got these thingies and I mean I did read the manual but I'm still not 100% sure what to do and which tool to use I think I use this and I'm just gonna start slow do I use this this is like the lowest possible and you can turn it up <gasps> wow this is so loud <laughs> So I basically just fixed all of the big blobs um, that were underneath. I'm just gonna go in with the normal file now. So let me just do this and hope they don't come off right away. Oh, I can use my bedazzle brush. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> well guys, what can I say? I'm just filing. Nothing happening here. Now I understand why they always have these little fans for the powder and well obviously face masks because filing down nails, oof, that is a lot of white powder. And I'm not talking about the good white powder. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. So I've been filing for forever and this is what my nails look like now. You can really see my mistakes here. Also right here you can see the little air bubble which really annoys me. The worst one is probably this finger because first of all it's crooked. Second of all it's way too thin up here. Let's just finish it off with a top coat. Oh the top coat also burnt a little bit. How great! Curing your cold gel is the most boring thing in the... I hope you sang it. Otherwise, I'd feel like an idiot now. <laughs> One more round of alcohol! And by that, I mean vodka. Do you know this Harry Styles? Guys, I'm done with my left hand. Uh... Guess how long this hand took me now. Guess. Two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do the second one now. I mean, I have some practice now. Like, how hard can it be to just apply this? But this honestly doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look too thin. It doesn't look too thick. Sorry, guys. This is probably so not satisfying. Like, all of this mess, it just looks disgusting. Disgusting here. We'll have a good professional Chevy nail shalom. <laughs> a lot of you guys actually asked me where I got my rings from. So you always ask about this one right here. And okay, actually the story is not that great. <laughs> we just bought it when we were in Bulgaria with my mom, me and my brother. Actually, that was like 13 years ago or something. <laughs> Yeah, and my mom and I, we bought a ring. So that's basically our mother and daughter ring. Actually, does she still have hers? And the other ring, which is this one right here. Some of you guys may know I've been to England when I was like um, 18 years old, 19 years old. Um, it was right after I finished school. Then I did an au pair year and my child was adorable, but also a little bit, um, you know, hard to handle. Anyway, so I picked him up from school and then he played with his friends. His name was Harvey, by the way. And and uh, then he just came up to me and he was like, Naomi, I found this ring. It's for you. And I was like, 
Harvey, you can't just... That, that probably belongs to someone else. And also because my fingers are really small, not a lot of rings fit me. And then I was like, oh, okay, wait. If this ring fits me, then it's probably like a child's ring. And I was like, Harvey, you can't just... You have to give it to the principal or something. Sorry, I can't keep that. And then he looked at me with like the saddest eyes ever. And he was like, Naomi, I found it for you. And he was so sad that I didn't want to accept his gift. And then I was like, well, okay, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> but it's actually really pretty. I like this ring a lot. From far away, yes. Wait, I'm gonna show you a very, very satisfying moment. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, I'm so proud of this one. This is my best one yet. This is so boring. This must be such a boring video. I'm basically just curing my nails all video long. <laughs> Are we ready for the satisfying part though? So I already took this one off. This came out so good. This one is actually a bit small. Like uh, you can see that this one didn't fit my finger. <gasps> this one basically doesn't exist. Shit. <laughs> Yay! Finally, finally time! Oh, my thumb is so perfect! I wanna have sex with my thumbnail. Honestly, it's that good. Oh! Chili! Chili! Stop eating my hand! He literally just wants to eat my poly gel. Oh, there's so much cat hair in there now. This place is not sanitary! Chili, why is your paw on the table like this? <gasps> He almost fell. Guys, I can't believe it. I am done. Here is the end result. I don't know why, but somehow the top coat did like little bubbles and waves into my right hand. It didn't do that on the left hand though. I don't really know why it is like that. From far away, they look okay. Let's not look at like little imperfections like this bubble on the left one. Let's just enjoy them from far away. This was kind of fun though. I honestly wouldn't think I would enjoy it that much. But like the poly gel and the UV lamp, everything was... I mean, I don't really have a comparison. I'm not a nail tech. I don't know. <laughs> no Ed, but I really liked it this time. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>